Hello everybody, Robert here again with more Inventor Training. So in this exercise, we're going to create another part file, but this is going to be metric. So we're going to go with new, new file, and we want to be on the ink on the metric tool here. And I want to standard IPT. And then we'll click create. Now, I got my project all loaded in, everything here. So, uh, I want to activate my 2D sketch. And then I want to select my XZ plane. XZ for you guys overseas. Okay, now after that, we want to go into our document settings here. On the tools, document settings. Uh, now for you uh, US guys, um, you want to hit sketch. And here we want to go with five millimeters. For Y direction, one five millimeters as well. I think you guys overseas might use 10 millimeters but well maybe five so now for our grid display for every major five we want to show one snap per square and I think that'll be all for that and now we'll pick OK and there's our grid so we can zoom in and out here. Okay, now um, next thing we want to do is we want to um, we want to click on our left arrow in our view display here in our in our cube, and then we rotated our view here. So now um, we want to switch back to our sketch tab here. We want to hit a rectangular, two point rectangular. And let's just go in here a bit here. And let's make a point from here to about here, roughly. And say about there. So there's our shape. So now inside the graphics bundle, we right click and we'll say OK for that. Now, here we want to um, activate general dimensions command by clicking on the right here. So let's select a dimension for this, 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 this hit edit dimension, put a dimension there and one there. Actually, I want to bring this guy down. Let's delete this out here if we can. Well, I want to undo this. So let's make the dimensions again. So let's go with this line for here and this line for right there. So now we have our dimensions in here and everything. So let's go back into our document settings because we've got tolerance issues here. So let's go into our document settings under tools. And then there's units here. We've got this to millimeter, but let's set this this down to zero. And we'll say OK. Now let's modify these dimensions. So all we do here is we'll just um, let's select this guy here.
This should right click here. I think we want to do that. Or we can just double click on this guy. Let's make this one 50. 50 millimeters. And we'll take this one here, just double click on it, and make this one 75. And we'll click finish. Now we can reposition these dimensions. Let's do a full view here. And we can grab this guy, we can pick it, and waiting for that little thingy to pop up. So what happens is, once you, let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, you see the little thing there? That's enables you to move. It's like a little move symbol. So if I go here, it's looking, I think. You see the little round thing going in there. Let's select it, and then you can drag it up and back and forth here. So let's just leave it right here for now. And let's move on. So now I want to do another, I want to show you another neat little feature here in uh, Inventor. So let's use our user measuring tools here. So uh, in the ribbon, on the inspect, you have a measuring tool. So we can select this guy here. And let's click on this top line here. So let's click this line. And there's our the length. It shows you right there. The length of that length is 75 millimeters. Now uh, we can right click here now once we do that and we can go restart. And then we'll select this one. And it'll give us our 50 millimeter. Okay, so then right now at this point I can right click again here and I'll restart and I'll select this one here. Restart here. Okay, I want to check that out here. Let me cancel that. I want to see that. So what I want to do here, I want to go back and just do this again. I want to really show you how to do this. So right here, we want to measure and we'll select this line and there's our 50, 75 millimeters. And we want to right click in our graphics window here and then we want to select restart here. And we'll move the cursor over here. And then we'll select other or restart. And there's our 50 millimeter. Now then we want to hit this guy again. We'll select this guy line again here. We start again. I'm sorry, guys. Cancel that out. Cancel that. What I'm trying to show you here is basically this. I'm going to undo that. Go I'll redo it. Didn't have to do that. So let's go back into our measure. Select this line, and that'll give you 75 millimeters. And then I'll select this one and go restart. And then we move the cursor here. And that'll give you the 50 millimeters. And then I'll go back here and then I'll select this little pull down arrow here. And I'll say curve loop. And that'll give you the entire area of the uh, square, which is 250 millimeters. So, moving on, 
Now, another thing we can do here, we can select regional properties here. And when you do that, you select the inside and then you select calculate and it'll calculate everything in that square. So you get all the calculations that you want right here in this uh, uh, sketch measure in regional properties. So I'm going to just click done here. Just wanted to show you that. And now let's move on here and we want to finish this sketch. Okay, so now our sketch is finished. Let's zoom on here. And then we want to uh, create an extrusion. And there's our extruded feature. So now we get the little dialog box here. And then we want to make this A distance 15 mil. And that's be that. As you can see, there's our 15 mil. And let's say OK. Now let's set, uh, uh, click on the home view so we can see our view, everything good. Or you can push F6, one of the two, to get it in the perspective view. So now let's go to the bottom here. Or we can just go shift and go up like so. Let's go back to F6, home view. And we'll just go and use the view cube to go underneath this shape. So now right here, we want to um, create another feature to this. So I want to click um, the bottom face here. I'm going to right click. And I want a, a new sketch. So there we are in our view here now. And what I want to do here is, I think I might rotate this around. Let me see what's, and we're going to play around with this for a minute. Let's see now. Here, I want to rotate this guy this way, I think. So now we want to go with our circle. Circle center point, we right click here, point snaps. We want to go to midpoint. So we just select this line. And there's our midpoint. And from that point, we'll draw a circle up to this point right here, to the green line. And we'll say finish sketch. And there's our sketch. This brings back to home view here. Yep, that's where we want it. So now we want to click the extrude button again. And we'll select this guy here. That's selected here at this point. And we want to be at, this is going to be 40. Actually, we want to flip this first. We want this to be 40 mil. Change that to 40. And we want to be joined, that we are. And then we will click uh, OK here. So let's get this home view back. Back in our home view. And so there we have our two shapes. So now, Let's go in here and let's do another feature. Let's just put a hole here on the top. So here all we want to do is we want to click this top face. And we want to create a sketch. And here we want to go center point circle. So from here, doesn't matter, just anywhere out here, click the circle. And then um, let's go back to our home view. Let's just, 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 just do a right click and let's say OK. And then let's go back to our home view here. And now what we want to do is we want to go into our dimensions. 
select that circle and let's make this 30, 30 mil. Now there's our circle. Now we want to right click and we want to finish our 2D sketch. And at this point, we want to do another extrusion. So hit extrude. Now extrude is smart enough to know what's a 2D circle. Let me go straight to it. Here we want to, um, let's cut here. And I think we want to flip this. Yep, we, it flipped automatically. Yep. And then we'll say OK. So now let's add a hole right here. So let's select hole. And we'll select this surface right here. Now, we can adjust the hole size right here. But I think that's where we wanted, about 20 mil. So we're all good there. So what I need you all to do now is you want to just select this line right here and make that distance, um, that distance needs to be 30 mil. So like 30, and there it is. And then we want to select this line. This distance should be 25 mil. Nope. Yep. See that happened now. I want to undo that because see what happens is, oh wow. Okay, let's do this right quick. Get this one here. So when you select these dimensions here, watch. So if I'm gonna go here, when it's black, he hits straight in. So what I did now, I want to hit this one. It's uh, 25. So now we're good. And that is through. No tapers, no nothing. So we're all good there, right size. And we want to say, OK. So there's our hole. Now, let's finish this guy up. Let's add another feature through the front here. So to do that is, um, we want to just select this face. And we want to create a sketch. Now, here, we just do another rectangle, two point. Just anywhere here. And let's go into our home view here. And let's just measure this out with the general dimensions. So let's go from here to here. And let's edit this dimension. This dimension is going to be 15. We were really close. Now we need this dimension from here to here. This is going to be 20. Okay, now at this point, um, we want to finish our sketch. And we want to hit extrude here. And then we'll select our face here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is uh, this one here and select next two and okay so there you go folks we just created a, another feature here in the project so thanks you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video and everybody be safe take care hit the notification if you are subscribed to this video if you want to ever see more videos in the future bye